Hello adventurers, today we gonna dive into the world of ghosts and nightmares. Today we gonna dive into the game called Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. And it's heavily narrative driven action RPG and it's definitely worth your attention. Once I compare it to Witcher, but no, it will be completely different. It will be less RPG and more action game. And yep, there will be an open world, but not really. So friends, what exactly you can expect from Banishers? Let's find answers. The story will bring us back in America in the year 1695, in a small hamlet called New Eden. Your main character will be Antea and Red, lovers, ghost hunters, or better to say ghost banishers. Why are you here? Cause your friend and mentor asking for your help. Unbelievable powerful ghost appear in this small town, and without your help he will not be able to defeat it. But with time you will understand that there is something more, something bigger, a nightmare, or maybe an ancient powerful cross, and you are destined to lift it. Sadly, the first meeting with the nightmare didn't go well, Antea died in the process, but she doesn't leave you, she's still here, as a ghost. And that moment will add a lot of drama into the game. A shade of sadness will follow you from the beginning until the end. And in the end it will put you in front of very hard choice to make. And it also means you will have two main characters in your possession. Red in usual human form and Antea in ghost form, and you freely can switch between two of those characters. Antea in her ghost form will help you to see what usual human eyes cannot see, some signs on the wall, a web, ghostish web, and sometimes even a treasure chest. A lot of hidden places will open the secrets only when you look at them with the eyes of the ghost. You can switch your characters not only exploration phase of the game, but during the combat you also can do it, and it will help you to defeat even the most powerful and dark creatures of the night. Ability to switch your main character will bring something fresh into the combat, but in general we will have a classical action RPG combat where you can do light attack, heavy attack, dodge and parry. When you defeat your enemy you will get a little bit of special spiritual energy, and when your bar is full you can perform a super powerful attack called banish. I like the combat, I really enjoy it, we will have all classical stuff, that mean from the very first combat you will know how to fight, but we also will have some additional features, and that will add something new, something fresh to the combat. Well done, well done developers. Story narration is definitely the strongest side of the game, I'm here in the middle of the war, and still this story touch my soul. We will have leaf, colorful characters, even if they are not alive at all. We will have hours of cutscenes, an excellent voiceover, beautiful background music, all of this will help you to immerse yourself in the game completely. A huge plus from me. Charles Dover. You have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. World exploration will be the weakest spot in the game. Why? There will be plenty of obstacles on your way, fallen trees that you need to crunch under, high mountains that you need to climb into, barrels that you need to jump over, and 
just imagine, there will be no jump button and all of these actions will be done with a single click with one button. So jumping, crunching, climbing and all other stuff, just press one button. Oh, that's disgusting. And while the world itself will be very atmospheric, all location will be very simple and pretty straightforward. You will have no ability to swim and there will be just plenty of hidden walls. Minus for me, I don't like it. But what about leveling up and development of your character? Yes, my friends, you will be able to gain experience points, level up and get skill points. The skill trees looks very simple. Put a point to get additional health potion. Put a point to increase the damage of heavy attack. Or put a point to increase the damage of light attack. Yeah, not a huge character development, but at least it's something. But that's not all, there will be a second way to make your hero stronger and you can do it by upgrading your gear. There will be plenty of upgrade options, but you will need resources to do it. You can find those resources all around the area, but sometimes you will need specific resources and you can get them only from a powerful enemy or by completing a quest. And believe it or not, but there will be a second way how you can utilize those resources. And you will need those resources to perform rituals, like speaking with the dead or summoning the ghost. I like it. Great idea. Something really new. And there will be another very interesting feature that definitely worth mentioning. When you find the ghost a restless spirit, you need to understand his or her motivation. What unfinished business is keeping this ghost in this world? And to do it, you need to conduct an investigation to do some detective work. Usually, you need to find some tips, hints, clues. Learn more information about a person who became ghost. And when it's finally done, you can summon the ghost and banish it from this plane of existence. And very often you will get choices. Usually it's to let it stay or banish it. Those choices will have some effect on the storyline and will add a little bit of replayability to the game. Because in different places you can make other choices. In general, Banishers Ghosts of New Eden managed to impress me and I can recommend this game for you with a pure heart, especially if you love storytelling. Friends, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoy this video. Have a good day and I will meet you in my next video. Meet you there.